Hi everybody, it's Erin from Me Papery, and today I am using some junk to make uh, some ephemera for the Garden Collage Journal. And specifically, I am using a um, some packaging that came with a set of combs that I bought for my hair. Um, and I thought this would make a cool bookmark with a belly band kind of pocket on it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cover uh, one side of this with some decorative paper that is scrap and I've used elsewhere in the journal. And just cut that out. Sometimes as a lefty I have problems getting close to the edge. I don't know if anybody else experiences that, but because I have to hold the scissors like the other way around. <laughs> And then I'm covering the back end of the bookmark with um, some brown printer paper um, or antique kind of colored printer paper that will still leave a journaling space. And cutting that out. I'm going to take my ribbon slot punch to repunch the hole at the top. And now to figure out how to cover this, it's interestingly shaped and I, I didn't really want to um, open it up. Um, so what I decided to do is take one of my stenciled book pages and measure it out. I'm going to put glue the decorative side down first and I measured it so that it was a little bit longer than what I actually needed. And I'm going to use my straight edge to give myself um, the spots to cut. Does that make sense? I guess you'll see. <laughs> I'm just going to cut that paper off to size. kind of get around that shape. I'm going to switch to my embroidery scissors um, to really get into that shape specifically because um, those just get in those little curves so much better than those big scissors do. So, And then I'm going to finish wrapping the rest of that band with the book page. the next thing is to ink up the edges and if you are enjoying this video go ahead and give us a like and consider subscribing to the channel we would appreciate that so much it really does help us out I have decided I would like to put a cute little bunny on the belly band so I'm cutting out one of my um, Gail's Bunny Fussies, um, and you can buy those in the shop. These are all my original illustrations, and they come with um, borders done in different colors so that you can um, have a border to match pretty much any, any uh, journal theme you need, or you can you know, really get fussy and get in all the nooks and crannies, but I, I left a nice border there for those that have those, the scan and cut machines and whatnot, so. And I'm just looking for something else, and I decided a vintage postage stamp would look really cool. I also tore off some um, postmark from some junk packaging, just some scraps. And 
just a little scrap of lace. I'm gonna tear that up, just get that to fit a little better, rearrange things a little bit. down first with some Fabri-Tac. Next, the postmark. Get that bunny in there and I put his ears right up into the curve of that curved shape of this band um, so that it kind of it makes sense why it's shaped that way otherwise you might think well why didn't you just cut it off straight and we didn't because we wanted to leave room for the ears of this bunny that's why sewing break I'm going to sew around the edges of the bookmark slide the belly band on. It's a snug fit. And this looks adorable. So I decided I wanted to tuck a small tag in there. So I have a package of these craft paper tags. Um, and I decided that was a little too plain. So I was going to just do a stamp on it. So, um, I, but I wanted to emboss it. So decided to emboss this floral design on and then I'm using some bronze or copper toned um, ultra thick embossing powder, which lessons learned, I think this design may have been a little too intricate for the ultra thick, but I still think it turned out really nicely. fabric is actually salvaged from some bed sheets that were my sister's at one point I think and it's got a lovely coral and green um, color scheme to it which matches the paper on the on the bookmark really nicely and matches the overall journal really nicely so I'm going to use matching fabric for the tag topper as well as the bookmark topper and there we go Hope you enjoyed this. I uh, will see you next time. Bye everybody.